In this week's video, come along as I attempt meal prepping for the first time, give my honest opinion on my new workout earbuds, and attempt to get my car window fixed. Well, yeah, crew, welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm going to attempt meal prepping so that I can get on the schedule and stop skipping meals. What's up peeps? It's Sunday. Um, today is the first day I'm going to be trying meal prepping. Um, I'll be working out throughout the week and then when I finish working out, I don't have nothing to eat. So I'm going to try to see what we can find at the store. So I'm going to take y'all along with me. Let's go. What's up? We just pulled up to the first store um, with my mom and my brother. What's Cam. up, YouTube? So we just, um, we're going to go in here, see what they got. We're probably going to end up at multiple stores today. This will probably head on over to Costco, but um, we're at Rouse's right now. This one is brand new. It just opened a few days ago. I wish I had been recording. Me and Cam came and they had a lot of cool stuff including this uh, Coke machine that you hug and get a free Coke. So that was uh, that was fun. So we was just about to get out the car and the car in front of us, the truck, his tire blew. I ain't never heard something so loud. I didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> it sounded like a gunshot. I hope that uh, they'll be okay when they come out. Hope they got a spare. His back tire look. There you go. Man. Anybody else be putting all the stuff right here in the baby seat? I do that and then I don't have no room for nothing and I gotta move everything else. <laughs> so one of my least favorite things to do is go grocery shopping. But I know if I'm gonna eat, I gotta go to the store. But for some reason, every time I go in the store, I'm constantly putting everything I need right up at the top. Even if I know like I'm passing something like maybe I might get some fish first and then I know I have to get eggs or bread later. I'm still putting the fish up at the top when I know I'm going to have to move it just to put the bread or the eggs up there. I don't know. This happens to me every time, like legit every time I go. And then exhibit A. Now I don't have nowhere to put the eggs. <laughs> So I always grab from the middle or the back of the aisle because we all know that person that gets milk as soon as they walk in the store and then go around the whole store getting all the rest of their groceries and then just at the end decide, oh, I don't want the milk. Yeah. 
How long y'all think these gonna stay up there with the Louisiana weather? So two weeks ago it was snowing and icy. Last week it was raining all week. It's like the first day it's not raining. Um, so we'll see how long they be up here. <laughs> when we have to get eggs. He's always hollering about, oh, it's cold. And I have to admit, it is cold in there, but how else are we gonna get what we need? So now look at his face. Yep, I did it again. Everything up at the top. Secure the bag. food which for me just entails washing and seasoning um, I'm not allowed to cook much here because well I tend to burn it just a little shit a little try a lot got chicken here that's already been seasoned got some fresh Louisiana catfish got some thin cup pork chops and we have some Chicken sausage. That's our four proteins. And now in the, we also, for our starch, we're going to be using uh, sweet potatoes. We've got wild uh, white rice, jasmine rice. Yeah, I can't do the brown rice. No, we can't do brown rice. <laughs> I tried. Can't do it. And vegetables, we have a combination of fresh and frozen and salads. So we have some salad greens with some nice Roma tomatoes that we'll put. And then we got some squashes, zucchini, and then we got carrots, broccoli florets, and Brussels sprouts, Trey. No. Why? You can have I like 
Brussels sprouts. I'm going to go ahead on and be nice and let you have them all. Oh, thank you. All right, so now I'm going to wash these vegetables. If it ain't Louisiana seafood, I don't want it. Now we get to season the fish with the only seasoning that exists. Yes. Go ahead on slap and season on. all of oh, it. Don't just slap me either. <laughs> even though we're not going to eat all of this fish. Yeah, that's for two meals. But we season it so it'll be ready. I think I'm doing it right. Yep, just sprinkle, sprinkle. The dreaded wrench. Yes, I got to go to the dealership this week. Well, shit. But anyway, I'm on the way to the post office. I got to drop off some uh, some letters. Most of the time I do it late the night before so that it'll go out early in the morning without me having to be there early in the morning. So that's where I'm headed now. What's up, y'all? It's Monday morning. I'm currently on my way to the gym. Um, we didn't finish meal prepping yesterday. So after I come back from the gym, I'm going to get on that. I've been waiting all day to open these. I really, really love music and sound quality is like the most important thing to me. So for years I have been using this brand One More Quad Driver headphones. Um, they like have the best sound. And for Christmas, I got these, the Penta drivers. So they're like one more driver than the old ones that I had. And of course, these are both like wired headphones because Bluetooth headphones doesn't give you the best sound quality. These are the Penta drivers now. These are the ones I use like on a daily basis to listen to music. But now that I'm in the gym multiple times a week, I need something that um, lends itself to working out and not for like casual listening. So I have these, they're called the One More Evo. And I've been waiting um, for a few weeks now for them to come in. Um, I had originally ordered the, I think they were called open air headphones. And the premise behind those was to let you be able to hear what's going on around you which with everything going on in the world, that sounded like a good idea to me being in the gym because you don't want to be like tuned into your music and not know what's going on around you. But I did not like the sound quality. It wasn't what I was used to from one more. So I'm excited to try these out to see if they're going to be better. So let's go ahead on and open them up. So when you open them up, they have like all of the, I guess you'll call the diagram of how it's made and what's in them. I'm not sure how many drivers these have, but let's see what kind of case they have. Whoops. quality on these just looks amazing. So let's see what else they have in the box here. Oh, it looks like it's just a charging cable. 
and multiple little uh, earbuds of different sizes so that you get the the right fit in your ears so let's see they're pretty small I don't see any instructions. Oh, they are in here. Not that I read them. <laughs> I barely read the instructions on anything I take out. And then I'll be like, why is it not working? Okay, so I finally think I figured it out. They had some little plastic on the inside of the headphones here. That was keeping them from connecting. So it wasn't showing up on my phone. So now we should be able to get them connected and finally get to listen to how they sound. These sound much better than the open ear one, open air ones is what they were called. Um, they actually sound better than my Bose Sound Sports that I bought like years ago, probably like 2019 or 2020. So I'm excited to work out with these tomorrow. I'll let you guys know how they do. For some reason, I couldn't get the camera to focus. So here they are up close. So like I said, music is basically my life. I listen to music when I'm driving, when I'm happy, sad, pissed. You get the picture. Um, but I needed some good earbuds from when I'm working out because, you know, I can't bring those wired headphones into the gym. So these are really good. I really love them. The sound is great. They stay in my ears, which is most important. Um, and they're just all around good quality. So I love them. What's up, crew? I'm on my way to the dealership. Go take care of this wrench. <laughs> Um, I'm also having trouble with my back window. It won't roll down. See? It makes some weird kind of noise. I'll check back in with y'all later. So I'm back from the dealership. They said nothing is wrong with my window. Go figure. Um, <laughs> just like I thought they was going to say, but... They said they put some oil on it because they could see it was getting, I guess they said caught up. So I'm gonna just keep monitoring it. Luckily, I probably got another, I wanna say 15,000 miles before it's out of warranty. So if it mess up again, I'll bring it back to them. But I did wanna show you all that now, just like I said before, it's working now. When I hit the button, it's going down. But for so long, it wasn't doing that. So I don't know what it is, but. I call too new to be having problems like that. But I still like my Honda. So. They've been good about fixing other issues. I had um, a little issue with the the noise cancellation uh, system and they had to like take out all of the dash here and replace the microphone but that was on the car I had before this one so I haven't had any problems with this one besides that window so we shall see so for next week's vlog y'all gonna get to see the behind the scenes of my first ever YouTube video that should be cool so we made it to the end of this week's video i want to thank y'all for tuning in uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll holla at y'all in the next one peace